I want to talk about gossiping and speaking poorly about people. We have to know that those things are sins. We don't want to go around gossiping or saying wrong things or bad things about people. You have to understand that you are going to reap what you sow. So if you do bad, more bad is going to come to you. If you do good, more good is going to come back to you. So if you set your ministry about exposing people, let me say this. There are people, ministries, preachers, and stuff like that, that are preaching this once saved, always saved doctrine. You can talk about what they teach about. You can talk about the once saved and always saved doctrine. You can say that it is wrong because it is wrong. But what you must not do is go around speaking poorly about those people in those ministries. Makes sense, right? So you can't say that they are evil, they are going to hell, so on and so on. You must not say that. We can talk about the sin, but not the sinner. We can talk about the sin, but not the sinner. We must not do that because that is a sin to speak poorly about people, to gossip. That should really make sense there. Yes, we must expose wrong teachings, but we must not put down people. We must not talk about people. Yes, I can say that it is a sin to have sex before marriage or to have sex with someone that is not your spouse. It is a sin to lie, steal, cheat, so on and so on. But what I must not do is say, hey, preacher so-and-so is a liar. He's a cheater. He's this, he's that. Don't do that. Because if you are teaching what the Bible says, people are going to know who do those things. But, look, we all are going to be in error in some way or form. We are supposed to love each other and help each other. So if you see me in error, come to me in love and say, Hey, Kevin, what you are doing or saying is wrong. And let me show you based upon the Bible. That is fine, but what you don't want to do is go on the internet <laughs> and say, hey, preacher so-and-so is blah, 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 let me show you how. You are not supposed to do that. If a person is doing the wrong things, you go up to that person. Then, if that person won't listen, you try to get other people to come to him as well as a group and try to get that person to change. If that does not work, then you separate from that person. Makes sense, right? But you don't go and just gossip and go to person to person saying how evil a particular person is. That is wrong. So let's look at what gossip means casual or un unconstrained conversation or reports about other people, typically involving details that are not confirmed as being true. Okay, let's go to Proverbs 20 and 19. He that goeth about as a tale barrier revealeth secrets, therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. So what does tell barrier mean? Let's look it up. 
a person who maliciously gossips or reveals secrets. So we don't want to be a tell barrier. This is saying, don't be that way, don't gossip, don't go around hanging out with these people. Stay away from them, because if they do it, even if you don't do it now, if you continue to hang out with that person, you are going to be a tail barrier as well. You are going to gossip and do all of that silly stuff. Don't do that. Let's go to Proverbs 16 and 28. A forward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. So what is a forward? A forward man. Difficult to deal with contrary. Okay, so a forward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. When you gossip, you are doing so much damage to people. When we all have done wrong at some point in time, a person can change. But when you go around saying mean things to a person, hey, what is that going to do to that person? That person may get depressed me get more mad or angry and he may separate much more from God. So what you need to do, like I said, go to that person, speak to that person, showing where that person is wrong, but do it in love. If that person won't listen, bring more people with you and come to that person, not the internet, not the internet, but come to that person, email or somehow contact that person and correct that person. You don't want to cause more confusion and strife by exposing and stuff like that. That is wrong. Demons cause confusion and strife. When you gossip and expose, as you say, on the internet and stuff like that, you are causing more confusion and strife. You are doing what demons do. Of course, you may say, well, people have to know about these certain people. I understand what you are saying, but we are not supposed to attack people. We can attack the evil things that they may teach and show people this type of teaching is wrong, but we must not bring up the minister or the ministries. So we can show people from the word of God, like, hey, you know, this once saved, always saved doctrine is out now, and let me show you how that is wrong. We must not attack the people who teach that, but teach others why it is wrong. Then, if you want to, you can approach those people who are teaching those doctrines or that doctrine and show them that they are wrong. Makes sense, right? Okay. So let's go to Ephesians 4 and 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So don't speak negatively about people. Don't speak about bad things. Speak about things that are going to get people more close to God. There is enough bad things in life. You don't want to add to it. There is so much good things in life, but you rather take more note of the bad things about people and stuff like that other than 
the good things that people are doing. Take your focus off the evil and more on, on the good. I really hope that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> so, what you say, you want to build people up. Get them closer to God. Not be paranoid and, hey, this person may be a false prophet. Well, if you know the word of God, you are going to know what teaching is wrong or right. So you want to do more teaching about the Bible than exposing people. Okay. Let's go to Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are in abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. So let me go one by one. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. So this is going to tell you what God does not like. 17. A proud look. So don't be proud. Don't be arrogant. Don't be conceited. A lying tongue. Don't be a liar. And hands that shed innocent blood. So don't be a murderer. And heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. Change your heart. Start following God. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. So don't be a sinner, pretty much. Stop being a sinner, change your ways, and follow God. 19. A false witness that speaketh lies. So, if you notice in verse 17, it says a lying tongue. So that is saying God does not like people who lie. Or, he does not like the act of lying. Now, if you go down to verse 19, a false witness that speak of lies. So, he said it twice in this passage. So, this is showing you that God does not like lying. And he that soweth discord among brethren. So, when you gossip, what are you doing? you are causing discord. This is why you need to approach that person, if you want to, and correct that person. Not go on the internet and expose or go person to person speaking poorly about people. You don't want to do that because that is a sin. You can speak about what they teach about, <clears throat> but what you must not do is speak poorly about the people. So no more exposing. If you want to expose, expose the wrong type of teachings. But you don't want to expose people. Or criticize or down people. You don't want to do that. Let's go to Titus 3 and 2. To speak evil of no man. <laughs> Let me stop there. <laughs> to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, so arguing, fighting, and stuff like that, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. So show love. Yes, they are doing wrong, but we still have to show them love. We can correct people in love. We don't have to go everywhere downing people. That is wrong. Atheists and people who say they don't believe in God is already downing us. So why are we going to down each other? Makes sense, right? 
So many people hate Christians as it is. Yes, some Christians are in error. This is why you should not do what everyone else is doing. You can correct, not gossip. If that person won't listen to you, you go bring others and speak to that person or contact that person somehow. If that person won't listen, you separate from that person. But you don't want to go to all of these people just to speak poorly about others. That is wrong and that is evil. Something I did back in the past. And God forgive me for that. Or God please forgive me. Okay. So be humble. Show humility. There is nothing wrong with showing humility to people. Unless you are arrogant and pride, which are sins. Let's go to Leviticus 19 and 16. Thou should not go up and down as a tell barrier. Okay, this goes right back to Proverbs 20 and 19. And we know that a tell barrier is a person who maliciously gossips or reveals secrets. Here we go again. Leviticus 19 and 16. Thou should not go up and down as a tell barrier among thy people. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. So as you can see, God does not want us to be gossiping and <clears throat> downing others. Does that make any sense? We can talk about the wrong teachings. This once saved, always saved. We can say that you have to repent of your sins each time you sin. But we can't say, well, you know, this preacher here is teaching that and they are going to hell if they don't change and blah, blah, blah. You know, like don't go to this preacher's church. But what if that preacher change? What if he becomes the best preacher ever? Just because they had a bad past don't mean that they are going to always be bad. Myself. I used to be so mean and arrogant and so many more things. What if people went around, which some did, <laughs> went around telling people, hey, don't go around Kevin because he is this and this and that. But I am not the same way as I was before. So if people believed in those other people saying to stay away from me, Many of you all would not take heed to what I am saying now. So much more people, the people that I am helping now would not be helped. I really hope that makes sense. If you are bad now, that does not mean that you are always going to be that way. Yes, these preachers are preaching this once saved, always saved doctrine, but you don't know if they are going to change or not. So this is why you talk about the wrong teachings and not the people, because you don't know what is going to happen in those people's lives. Because I never knew that I would turn out this way now. I thought that I would always be the way that I was. I really thought that. So this is a surprise to me. <laughs> okay, I really hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please ask me because I try to answer all the comments. So unless you know you are using curse words or something like that, then I am not going to answer you. I am going to delete your comment if you curse or swear. So really take heed to this. God bless.